What up, y'all? boy E back again with another video. Today, we pulled up to Printer United Expo. It's essentially a convention to do with all things prints. However, today we're gonna go in there and actually talk to some technology companies. I'm a firm believer that technology can either make or break your business. So let's go talk to these companies and let's see what they can do for us. We know we stay giving y'all free game. Let's go learn a couple things. So whenever you guys are coming to this trade show, the one thing I love is that you're gonna learn so much and software is a huge part of this business. And it's kind of crazy because there's a lot of people selling machines, there's a lot of people selling vinyl and shirts and hoodies, but there's not that many people selling software. So what is Privato and what do you guys do? Hey, so yeah, Matt with Pertavo. So Pertavo is going to be your everything for what you're trying to do. So customers, they have a lot of needs, right? A quote has to happen. They have to approve the quote, art approvals, all that. And it can be a little crazy. You have an inbox with like 30 different email chains. You're like trying to find this information. That's a pain, right? This is going to be a single source of truth. You enter the data in, send the quote to the customer. You've got a nice, polished user experience and user interface. They can go ahead and approve a quote. They can see the data. They can even pay right there. And you're given all the information. And now you've created a customer journey. You can say, okay, you're, it's approved. It's in production. You can even have it automatically email and text the customer along the way, letting them know where their order's at. You can let them know, hey, it's shipped. Hey, come pick it up. And they think you could be a massive company. You could be hustling in the basement with a heat press and giving the appearance that you are a big company. So it's, a, it's essentially, it's a software to manage a print, a print shop. Exactly, it manages all of it. it manages the, the print shop, the customer experience. It connects to your QuickBooks. It does all that stuff. Now let's say I'm a guy in a garage. I got one shitty heat press from Walmart and I got a shitty vinyl cutter. Yep. Do I need this software? Uh, yes, you do, because we actually have a starter package made for them, right? It'll give you're like, hey, I'm doing like 15 orders a month type thing. We've got you for a very affordable price. You can still have that nice polished user experience and user journey where you're not also having to like remember to do everything. We can have automations happen where you click a button and emails and text the customer for you. You're over on the heat press pressing that work now, as opposed to having to spend 15 minutes to do that whole thing. You're down to three or four minutes and on to the next thing. So it's safe to say that this is kind of like what Shopify is for clothing brand owners. This is what um, it is for print shops. I like that. that. Yes, that yes. Okay, cool. So a lot of you guys out there that are running print shops, you know when you got a customer and you got to send the text and the proof back and forth, back and forth, what color, what size, when is it going to be ready? This is essentially a system on the back end to automate all of that for you and keep it nice, neat and organized. And the other thing is it keeps it professional. So that way you still have that line between the customer and they're not crossing that line and neither are you. So I really like softwares like this because it's going to help you get from a guy that's in a garage trapping out shirts out of a Walmart heat press to eventually scaling your business and getting a screen print shop and growing that way. What is the number one advice you have for somebody who's starting out and wants to do a print shop? Listen to your peers, ask questions, and don't be afraid to talk to your competitors. You want to go far, go together. I truly believe that, right? So everybody, folks like you, talk to the people that you admire, you respect, ask them their input. Don't be afraid to humble yourself and reach out for help. We all care about each other. What would you say is the number one differentiating thing between your software and all the other softwares that are out there? In my opinion, we're hungrier, right? I've run multiple print shops. I own a print shop still. I care about this community and everybody that works across the community. We listen, we take all the ideas and we iterate based off of what everyone actually needs. We're not telling you what you need. You're helping us develop the roadmap to give you what will help you scale and feel successful. So you actually run a print shop and you work here? Sure do. That's crazy. Multiple hustles. How does your, how does your, what is your day to day like that? Uh, so I'm full time with Brutavo. Wow. I'm the implementation manager. So wow. I spend about six hours a day on Zoom calls, wow. training shops. They pay for implementation, self-implement, wow. or I can build your processes for you and with you. I've run multiple large scale shops. Yeah. I can take you small shop. Doesn't matter. I can still get your user experience laid out, your processes defined and you can go. So because of Printavo, yeah. I've been able to automate most of my ownership role at my business through the API and through Printavo. So I've kind of like 1.3 X myself. What is API? So that's how you can connect the back end of the software to do other things. So like a form on my website can now talk to my Printavo easily through our API and things like Zapier.com. Very affordable ways to make yourself do more without having yeah. to bog yourself down in the day. You're like, oh, I forgot to add that to my MailChimp campaign. Yeah. Automate that. Don't ever do it again. Have it go easily and affordably. You've been, it seems like you've been in the industry for a really long time. I have a lot of experience running print shops. 
What do you think is the future of this space? The future of the space is process. There's a lot of disruptors, a lot of things I love. Direct to film is a big disruptor in a great way. I'm a fan of it, right? But there's a lot of changing in the industry. If you don't have a good process, regardless of your decoration type, if you don't have a good process, you're going to see a lot more stiffer competition. It's all about having a good process, lean processes as well, right? What do you mean by lean process? So not having waste. If you're spending like six hours a day chasing things, you're not very effective. You need to spend like an hour a day chasing things then automate what you can, right? Not having extra bodies doing things like sitting around and doing part of the work, right? You have to have lean processes, not having waste and be able to get more done with less. That's the future of the space. And that's where we're here to help. So I think the one thing you guys have to understand is whenever you're doing customs, I actually used to run a custom print shop too. I quit because I don't have the patience for it and I didn't have the process in place. But whenever you're running customs, there's so many different elements in that process. What color shirt, what size, what type of shirt, how big is the print? What are the Pantone colors for the prints? What is the quantities on the shirts? And I think having something like a Printavo or having some sort of software on the back end is gonna help automate that system. And it's gonna help you really be organized. So that way, what he was saying is you can have a very lean operation. And at the end of the day, when you have a lean operation, guess what? You get fat pockets. You know, we stay giving y'all free game. Make sure you check out Printavo if you have a custom print shop. All right, so we just got stopped by Gavin. Uh, he was telling me that he works for the cartel and we just kind of uh, understand a little bit more about what he does. So what do you do, Gavin? Yeah, man, so for a long time, I, re I used to run a screen printing shop for wow. seven years actually. And then I stopped. Okay. I stopped and I took a trip to Mexico and I just stayed in Mexico for it. And I started this uh, company, it's called Seps.io. Uh, and really, because if you run a screen printing shop, you know it's really hard to just do graphic design. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find graphic designers. Uh, they're really expensive. And you could try to work with the platform like Fiverr and Upwork and stuff like that, but you just can't get good communication. So what does your company do? Yeah, well, we pretty much give the shop owners time back, right? So a lot of the graphic design uh, tasks is what slows down the shop. So what we do is a lot of these things that you see on the banner here. Uh, color separation, mock-ups. Yeah. DTGs. DTG files, custom projects. Uh, approvals, because you know one thing, you gotta be super clear on communicating with your customers, right? Uh, and if you don't have that down pat, you're gonna run into a lot of mistakes. So if you are doing any type of production, you gotta have super clean approval and, and we help with that. So if somebody wanted to come and reach out to your services, how much would it cost? Like, let's say I had a logo and I wanted embroidery digitized, how much would that cost? Yeah, so we really, it's a business to business. So it's really a package, you sign up for a membership for us. And at the show right now, we got a, a, a starter package with $4.99 where you can get a bunch of jobs done. So it's uh, the one-off is not really our, our yeah. thing. Uh, and we say, hey, if you do need one-off, the Fiverr option is not a bad option. But yeah, if you yeah. need something that's quality, consistent over time, and you need like be able to trust, we're that option. So our, we have different packages for different size. Why don't you guys offer the one-off? I feel like that's a huge market. It is like, Everybody serve a different crowd, right? Yeah. Like there's uh, there's already options for that. Wow. Uh, uh, why do the same thing everybody else is offering? And and I'll tell you what, wow. another reason why, right? So if you run a shop or you run a business, you need consistent work and you need people that's gonna be there uh, doing your files all the time and you need to be able to trust, right? That's on the front end. On the back end, if you're gonna hire people that's gonna work with you, you need to be able to, to provide them sustainable jobs and that they know they're gonna be able to pay their bills over time. So it's one, being able to take care of your business, knowing you have peace of mind, you have somebody there. If you're working with a freelancer, you just don't know. Yeah. Because that freelancer could be super busy and they can't get to your job. Yeah, yeah. Like with us, that's why it's important. Like our model, having a package, having a membership, somebody's there to take care of you. It's to get in the best of world for you. have almost like a freelancer, but the yeah. security of- So it's, the value proposition is that you package it up to where you have somebody that's a little bit more dedicated, a little bit more hands-on versus the Jabbar Bar on Fiverr is just gonna go to like the most, whoever's paying the most. I don't know who Jababa is. Uh, if you Jababa and you doing your thing, keep doing your thing. We support all freelancers, do your but thing. But that's the value proposition. Yeah, right? it is. Our, like, our, ours is we want to give you consistent yeah, yeah. and we want to give you scale. Yeah. We want to give you peace of mind. Yeah. If you working with a one guy, you just don't have capacity and scale, right? Yeah. We give you that. That's what's up. So if you guys are in the market for a Jabbar bar that's just destined for you, <laughs> y'all go tap in with these guys, okay? So we've been walking the trade shows. I'm always looking for technology and new technologies to expand the business. 
This is a company called the Tigro. I'm a butcher's name, Vaswa. Exactly, Vaswa. Vaswa. Yeah, so he's, nice to meet you guys. He's gonna be on a yacht in about five to 10 years once he sells this company. So can you tell them what Integro is and what they do? Okay, so in general, what our tool is, is a print customizer. So in our tool, your clients can design whatever printed products you sell. So I don't know, Macs, t-shirts, uh, banners, all over printed hoodies or uh, magnets, wedding stationery. So uh, your clients design the things and at the end of the day, you get the print ready file exactly adjusted to your machine. So with the print, with the barcodes, with the imposition layout, with the cutting lines and everything. So the, yeah, we streamline the whole process of uh, fulfilling and let's say pre selling the pr personalized printed so product. So who would be the customers that would use this software? So Can you give me an example? Yeah, so for example, one of our clients is like make your puzzles, so they sell photo puzzles and thanks to our tool, clients can go to our tool. Uh, oh, this is a puzzle company. A puzzle company, exactly. Oh. So a puzzle company, so you can create a nice collage with multiple photos. You can upload photos from your phone by scanning the QR code or just, you know, upload the files that you have on your, on your drive. Uh, we check the DPI of each uploaded photo. We display this, uh, this uh, cut lines here. For example, in this puzzle reference, guys, what this software does is, let's say I'm somebody that knows how to make custom puzzles and I need a software to where the end consumer can upload their photo and give it to me in a print ready file. That's what this software is gonna do. It's gonna allow the end consumer to upload a photo of the dog, of your daughter, or whatever your anniversary. And then that file is gonna get sent to me as a puzzle maker. And then from there, I'll use that file and make a custom puzzle and ship it out to the customer. Exactly. What other um, things could they do? I know Puzzle Maker is one. I know DTF was one, right? Yeah, the, the DTF Gangster Builder is a is a huge uh, is a huge area in the in the US. So uh, uh, with the DTF Gangster Builder, here we have another example of our client K Ray. So you can uh, select the size of the sheet that you, that you want to design. Clients are redirected to our gang sheet builder. We display the tutorial. They can upload how, what, what, how many images they want and they can gang it uh, on their own. We check the quality. Uh, they can remove the white background. They can remove the transparency. So the company that prints DTF transfers- All they have the, to do is print. Uh, all, all they just, uh, yeah, exactly. All they need to do is just print because we can, again, add the order IDs at the top of the print ready file. So again, we just made the printer's life easier. Yeah. So a lot of your favorite DTF companies that you're ordering from now, a lot of them actually use this software as well. So let's say you wanted to get into the business of DTFs, what you would do is you would come to a trade show like this, you would go buy a DTF printer, you would set up a website, set up Antigro on the site, and then your customers can literally design whatever they want on the gang sheet. Once they submit and they pay for the order, you get the design files and all you have to do is upload it into your DTF printer and press go. What is another um, in example of integration? You guys can do shirts, hoodies, I, yeah, shirts, GTGs. hoodies. I can I can show you a nice example of the all over printed hoodies, sublimation, uh, the sublimation hoodies that are let's say cut and sew. So we have the, all these oh, wow. all these all these panels where clients can I don't know upload some uh, clip arts or uh, on the on the bag I can add some bicycle and I can change the color of the hood to the red and the uh, outside to uh, to yellow and then we can see. The 3D mockup. The 3D mockup. So clients Crazy. exactly know how the final product will look yeah. like. And again, the print ready file that it will generate will have all of the panels distributed wow. on a bigger sheet. So again, the printer just needs to focus on printing instead of you know having back and forth messaging with the clients. Hey, can you just change it or change that and so on? Again, streamlining the whole process. Yeah. So think about it this way. The best way I could dumb down this software is Let's say you go to a Printify or a Printful and they have all that software already in place. Well, guess what? Printify and Printful have custom built out that software and they're not interested in licensing it out to anybody else. But in Tigro, it's essentially, you don't have to go hire a coder. You can just go onto their platform, use their platform, use their products, use their services, and then it allows you to have that Printful or Printify sort of experience without having to go and custom build your site. And exactly what I'd like to say is that we democratize the printing industry yeah. because with our tool, the, the barrier of entry and start using our tool is super low and uh, you can have like the Shutterfly like uh, quality software, but just for a couple of, yeah. let's say, uh, for much less money uh, because uh, for example, for the TF Gang, she's the configuration is like $500 for uh, if you would like to start with five, seven, eight, ten 10 products, it will be more like $2,000. So uh, again, you don't need to spend like, you don't need to have a huge financial investment. Outside of the software, the program, right? As you look like, a, you seem like a very smart guy. Yep. Why did you get into this industry in this space 
uh, when there's a lot of other things. You could have gone and created the Ubers of the world. Why did you want to focus on this? Because what I think is that the printing industry is very neglected because uh, a lot of tech companies, they want to focus on crypto or some other, you know, cool stuff. They're not thinking about the printing industry, but the printing industry is worth more than music industry with all the Spotify's concerts and everything. And we see that there is a niche for having a, uh, yeah, it, it, there's a niche in, in software for printing industries and this more client facing because we know that the custom, uh, customize, customization at the moment is very important uh, because uh, a lot of people don't want to buy generic stuff. They want to have something personalized. They want to buy it right now. They don't want to have, you know, the uh, contact with the sales guys and so on. They want to do everything from the comfort of their, wow. I don't know, uh, couches in the yeah. sofas in, the, in, in their apartment. How, that is why we... How long did it take you to make this? Uh, yeah, so we've been developing this tool for more than six years now. Six years. Uh, six years now, yes. Wow. And uh, at the moment, we have more than 500 companies in the US. US is the biggest market for us. And of course, as we are from Europe, we also have a couple of clients in the US. What, uh, what were the struggles on developing something like this? Because this isn't just like one product. It's so many different products. The, pro uh, the software is actually really good. What were some of those trials and tribulations that you had to face to build something like this? Yeah, so the the, the biggest the biggest problem with uh, developing a, a tool like this for printing is in, for the printing industry is to understand all of the let's say um, things that uh, the, the, I don't know the mirror blades the the imposition layouts all of the specifications that printers need to have uh, correctly set to uh, to print and you know getting this whole knowledge was let's say extremely how did difficult you, how part. did you get that knowledge because you didn't run a print shop did you no no we didn't run we didn't run the print shop. We, were, uh, we had this option to work with one of the biggest uh, companies in Europe to build a whole uh, e-commerce platform for them. Uh, and thanks to that, we just were able to, to get the... the oh, connection. so you got hired from another a bigger print company yeah. to start doing this. Uh, like something, 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 similar. something similar. And then you, that's when... Ding! Yeah, exactly. And then you went and did your own thing. Exactly. All right, so the one thing I learned about this interview has actually nothing to do with the software. It's actually what he said. A lot of people that are like him that are very smart, they're wanting to go and be the Ubers of the world. And they're gonna go and take all this VC money and they're gonna try to get a better burn rate and all this stuff, right? But here's a guy who found an industry that's very sleepy. If you walk around this trade show, it's a lot of old guys. It's not a lot of innovation coming out and he's making big waves. So one of the business acumen things that you can take away from it is you can go and try to compete in the NBA against LeBron James and Kobe Bryant, but guess what? Unless you're somebody that special, you're not gonna be putting up 81 points. But if you're somebody like me, you can go compete in a smaller market, in a sleepier market, and you can put up 60 points, 80 points in the D League. So that's something to think about. Be self-aware and know where your talents are and be okay with putting up 80 points in the D League. You know, we stay giving y'all free game.